we're going to talk about the fact that right now, whatever you're doing, you're actually giving up part of your life to do it. You've only got so many days in your life. So every day you're giving up one of those days. So you want to make it count. Now you might say, what constitutes a successful life? Well, a successful life in aggregate is simply a series of days that have been successful to try and make every day as successful as possible. Now, how do you make a successful day? It's not the number of things that you're able to do in the day, the number of meaningless things that you can cram in, but it's the efficiency of each thing that you do. So one of the key ways to do this, and it was something that was uh, brought to Napoleon Hill's attention and that he emphasizes in Think and Grow Rich, is you want to list six things. Then you want to put those six things that you need to do towards your goal. You want to prioritize them so that the number one thing towards achieving your goal is first on the list. Then you focus on doing number one to completion before moving on. Now, why do you do this? Because you're making the decision to work towards your goal. In making the decision, you are removing doubt, fear, worry, and you're bringing order to your life. Now, the law of cause and effect will guarantee from that that you achieve success. And we have a short video from the man, Napoleon Hill, where he talks about just this very thing. Everyone, my friends, I suppose, desires to be rich. But not everyone knows what uh, constitutes enduring riches. And most people believe riches to consist only in the material things that money can buy. Let me disillusion you on that subject by giving you an outline of the 12 great riches of life. Number one. A positive mental attitude that stands at the head of the list of all of the riches of life. Number two, sound physical health. And number three, harmony in all of your human relations. Number four, freedom from fear. Number five, the hope of future achievement. Number six, the capacity for applied faith. Number seven, a, willing, a willingness to share your blessings with others. And number eight, to be engaged in a labor of love. Number nine, an open mind on all subjects toward all people. Number 10, complete self-discipline. And there's a whole foundation of philosophy in that one alone, complete self-discipline. And number 11, the wisdom with which to understand people. And number 12, financial security. Note that it comes last. There are 11 other things which may be used as a foundation upon which to make proper use of money. And without these other nine things, money can be just as dangerous as it can be helpful. Observe that money is the last thing on the list. Eleven other riches precede it, without which money can become a curse and nothing more. Study these twelve great riches carefully and observe that not one of them can be attained without the application of a positive mental attitude. That is why it leads the list. In the lesson on a pleasing personality, you will observe also that a positive mental attitude heads the list of the 31 traits which give one a pleasing personality. And I thank you. If you have questions, don't be afraid to get in touch. Results at teammaderealestate.com or visit our website, www.teammaderealestate.com. Thank you.